Alex, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have you here. If you guys are new, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. My other giveaway is still going on, so if you wanna check that out, I'll link it down below. But today, we are doing the long-awaited What I Got for Christmas, and this first part is being filmed in Florida, and the second part is being filmed in Missouri. So I am very thankful for all of these gifts. I'm not trying to brag, and I just wanted to make that disclaimer because I almost never make that disclaimer every time I do this video but this time I will because I got some pretty cool stuff and some of the things I actually bought for myself that is pretty much it for this intro if you are not already please make sure to subscribe also follow me on Instagram because you won't want to miss out on the fun stuff happening there but without further ado let's get right on into what I got for Christmas first few items I'm going to show you were from my stocking the first thing I got for Christmas was this six-in-one safety device and it is for when you're driving if you drive into a pond or something you can like cut out your seat belt break the glass and this will help you just protect yourself and everything also it's a flashlight and car charger so it's really cool and it's a good tool that my mom wanted everyone to have this Christmas the next thing I got for Christmas was this little pouch it is a 3d haunted mansion little pouch and you guys know I love holograms they're super fun and I love the haunted mansion then since Santa got me a couple whisks because he just knew my mom and I fought over the little whisks for when I make my little mac and cheese. The next item I got was this cute blank Disney cruise book. It is just lined paper. The next thing I got was this really funny face washer. It's like a really cool texture, so Santa wanted to give me it because I like cool textures like this. But I'm actually thinking I might try to use it on my face and see how it works. Another thing that Santa brought me was this portable phone charger, and this is really convenient because I can throw this in my purse and just carry a little cord with me so I can always charge my phone. But ever since I got the 10s Max, I've never had to charge my phone because the battery lasts so long. The next item I got were these tights and I got multiple pairs so I got a brown pair and I think I got a black pair um, but they're just these cute little stocking soft things that I can wear with clothes when I go to New York and they go really well with my outfits. I tried one pair on and they look so good. The next thing I got were these cute pair of ears. They took inspiration from the bubblegum wall as you can see and they are Epcot ears I think are adorable because if you guys don't know the bubblegum wall is at Epcot so I'm planning on wearing these and I'm hoping to get a really cute picture with them the next thing I got was this $50 gift card to all of these restaurants but my favorite restaurant is seasons 52 I don't know where the other locations are for seasons 52 but we have one here in Orlando and it is to die for I love it it's probably my favorite restaurant and I'm really happy that my parents got this for me so Spencer and I can go out on a little date night the next two items that come from my boyfriend which he spoiled me this year I'm so happy with the items he got me I just oh and um he also got me something in Missouri so you'll probably see that a little later on in this video but the first thing he got me were these cute Ray-Bans they're the ones that are just kind of like oval not oval but they're like round shaped and they're so cute I'm so used to having a big glasses but I've been wanting a pair like this for the longest time my aviator style cracked and I was looking for a new pair and I really I really wanted these and he got them for me so thank you so much Spencer you rock I love you also when Spencer and I were Christmas shopping we stopped into the Kate Spade store just to look around and they were having a really good sale and I really like this so he just basically picked it up and bought it for me it is just a little card holder it is pink and blue with two different shades of blue on it this is the wallet and I love the pattern I love that it's sparkly the next thing my mom actually got but basically she gave it to me and I don't really want it so if you're watching this and if you want this please go ahead and let me know down below DM me on Instagram or DM me on Twitter or you can email me and I do not do international shipping because it's very very expensive I just wanted to put it out there that this silver bag and it's never been used it's brand new it still has the plastic on it this bag is for sale I'm selling it for you guys at the rate of $20 so if you want this bag it has two straps so this is one strap and this is the other strap the next two items were my biggest items this year and I'm really really thrilled
thrilled about them. So I've been wanting this lens since I don't know when, since probably when I got my first Sigma lens, which is the 30 millimeter. After I got my Sigma 30 millimeter, which I'm filming on right now, I was doing more research and I came across this beauty and it is the Sigma 18 to 35 1.8. This is a very versatile lens. It has a very low f-stop, meaning the background can be blurry while still being able to zoom in a distance. So it doesn't zoom in like a zoom zoom lens, like a 70 to 200 it's nothing like that but it is perfect for candid moments and everyone says and all of the reviews I've watched on crop sensor cameras say that this is a necessity in someone's camera bag um, I got it used from people that inspired me to do more videography which is really cool so it just looks like this I mean it's a pretty basic lens if you're just wanting to see the lens itself, this is the lens. All of the videos online say if you're into videography and stuff and you have a crop sensor camera, any sort of like DSLR, this is a must in your camera bag. So thank you so much Sherry and Valerie for getting me this lens. It means a lot. The next and final thing I got in Orlando was for myself. It was basically a present to myself because 2018 has been an awesome year and I've been wanting this bag and they don't really make it anymore. I have just kind of come to that conclusion that they just stopped making it because it's so hard to get your hands on one, but it is this Louis Vuitton MM favorite. I took off the Vachetta strap because I don't really need it at the moment. Um, I'm going to work later today, so I just took it off so I can throw this into my Kate Spade Sophie tote. I really, really wanted this bag. I wanted it in the Damier Azur print. Um, this print is probably the most rare um, because everyone likes a bean and monogram. I think this bag looks excellent with this print. It's very versatile. You can take the strap and clip it here to make it like a wristlet type deal. You can just leave it in the front like this, which I love doing when you have the Vachetta strap on. It can be crossbody. If you don't like it, you can tuck it in and it could just be a clutch. Like I just love this bag so much. And it was a while ago when I went into the Louis Vuitton store and I kind of described this bag. I saw someone that had it and I was like, I'm looking for this and I don't know what it's called because you know, I don't study up on Louis Vuitton products. I just see something that I like and I'm like, oh, I wanna get that someday. The sales associate basically said, oh, they're very rare. You're very lucky to get one if you do. Um, just keep looking on our website. So long story short, I joined this Facebook group and I found one and the seller was amazing. It fits everything that I need, like even my vlog camera. So if you guys want a what's in my purse, comment down below or give this video a thumbs up so I know. They also make this bag in a smaller size called the PM. Happy I got this bag, happy for 2018, ready to rock 2019. Let's go to Missouri. We are in Missouri now and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Sorry if there's like some background noise, but um, pretty candid. Okay, so the first thing I got, this is funny for like filming in front of everyone, but the first thing I got was this keychain from Mason. It goes to Iowa State, so thanks Mason. Spencer's grandparents also got me a $25 gift card and a chocolate bar, so thank you to them. I didn't even know that they were gonna get me anything, so that was really, really sweet of them. You guys are sitting on a rocking chair, so I'm not even joking. The next thing I got was this ND filter, and basically what this is, it's sunglasses for your lens, so when I'm at Disney or when I'm taking pictures and it's bright daylight out, I won't have to worry too much about like harsh shadows. The next thing I got were these little lens cap covers. I'm always losing, well I, I don't lose them, but one of them is broken. Tie them to the strap or like the camera itself, which is really convenient. Okay, I've been wanting this for a really long time because my phone is such a pretty color and I really wish that I didn't have to have a case on it. You guys know I never had a case on my other phone but the back wasn't glass. So I got these back screen protectors so I can just put this on my phone and I can probably go caseless and that'll be amazing. Um, I'm still gonna be like really careful, but at least my phone will have like some level of protection. And then the first present I got from Spencer's parents was this really cool flying thing. And I don't know if it still has charge, but I'm gonna try to do this. Oh, you have a red one too. Yeah. Okay, hers matches mine. So basically it does this, oh, oh. So it just like flies and you control it with your hand, so that's pretty cool. Moving on to Christmas Day, um, Santa came to Missouri, which is pretty cool. So I woke up to a stocking. The tradition of the orange still continues because I always got an orange, even in Florida, so that's pretty neat. We got like a lot of fun things, like this candy cane. I got some Missouri scratch-offs, Missouri scratch-offs, and just a lot 
lots of candy. Moving on to the presents from Santa under the tree. So the first one was this really cute infinity scarf. It's just gray and it has a zipper on it. It has this pocket so you can put money or your phone. So when I go to New York, that'll be really convenient to have. You know, like if you're paying the taxi driver, like, oh, here you go, you know. So the next thing I got was from my stocking. It's this Moroccan hair oil. You can see my hair is pretty damaged from like bleaching it all the time. So I asked her what she used and she said that she used Moroccan hair oil. So I wanted to try this. Santa came through and got me some Moroccan hair oil. This Christmas was really cool because I've never owned a pair of arm warmers. So these are actually for your arms. I know, that's crazy. I come from Florida, so I don't know these things. Um, I thought they were leg warmers at first because in dance, like, you wear leg warmers. But they're actually arm warmers, and they have a little place for your thumb here. And they're this cute little creamy gold color. To go along with the arm warmers, I got some gloves. And these are the cool kind of gloves where you can text and everything. Even the thumb has little holes, so I can use my phone. And then it also comes with these little mittens so you can put this over your fingers if you're not using your phone. The next thing I got was this camera bag which is gonna be so helpful. You guys don't know, I don't have anything to carry any of my equipment and I normally just put my stuff into like a Kate Spade bag, kind of just like a big bag with no protection at all. It has a place for your camera body and then the lens or you could probably put like your body lens and then another lens. So this is really helpful and I'll actually feel like my stuff is protected and not just like banging it around. Last but not least, I got from Santa a gift card to Seasons 52. So this is amazing because my parents also got me one if you saw earlier in the video. Thanks Santa, you rock. Spencer and I will probably be going out a date night even though my parents and his parents were like, oh you don't have to. but. That's where we like to go and it's really, really nice. And that is everything I got for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're not already. Enter my giveaway because I'm having one that ends on January 1st. Sorry, Vlogmas is pretty much over and it's probably a couple days after two more videos probably coming. Very long videos. One from Florida, one from Missouri. So yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.